we are all in very challenging times and i think it is most appropriate that we recognize and welcome the efforts to try and bring about a significant change to help economic growth i think a um, couple of issues which i must highlight amongst various decisions which directly will impact uh, sectors that dpit looks after one is the decision to allow uh, businesses who are below the gst threshold and are not required to have a gst number also to engage in e-commerce i think that's a very very major big decision <laughs> which will help the e-commerce ecosystem but more importantly help small businesses benefit from the growing e-commerce business in the country one big advantage of that is also for the handicrafts and handloom sector and the small textile sector the another big advantage is the small retailers who are very keen to engage with e-commerce and given the fact that the government of india is already actively working on the open network for digital commerce ondc network which will allow different platforms to talk to each other to engage with each other and give consumer wider choice in uh, in in purchasing of goods and services i think this decision of the gst council under honorable finance minister will be a game changer for the success of ondc and to bring the small retailers in the e-commerce ecosystem another very important decision is for cut and polish diamonds which has been very widely uh, accepted recognized and welcome by the gem and jewelry business the there was an inversion in rate which has been right sized by an increase from 0.25% to 1.5% i think this is a very very important decision which will again give a big boost to the sector both of these decisions are going to increase job opportunities increase work opportunities increase entrepreneurial opportunities in a big way and on behalf of uh, all the stakeholders of this sectors amongst others i would like to extend my thanks to the honorable finance minister for these uh, decisions well the, the business uh, reform action plan is clearly a baby of the honorable finance minister when she was handling commerce and industry i uh, remember in 2014 when honorable prime minister gave a thrust to ease of doing business one of his major areas was that while we are working on the international front in uh, getting recognition for ease of doing business through the world bank rankings we must also involve all the stakeholders which particularly included the states and union territories in our effort to get them on board so that people really feel the difference feel the change in their uh, ecosystem in doing business and obviously as uh, anurag ji mentioned that will lead to ease of living and i think uh, the process started in 2014 is bearing fruit as we go along rather than uh, ease of doing business being limited to few areas few cities few businesses we are actually seeing that being reflected across the country through the spirit of competitive federalism also the spirit of collaboration where with the central government states are collaborating to make it easier for their business persons but also working in a spirit of competition which is why we rank different states for the work that they have done for the enablers for the effort to make it easier to do business and for the outcomes that we collect as feedback while ranking different states in some way this reflects prime minister modi's uh, efforts for sabka prayas get everybody along take everybody along and therefore leading to sabka vishwas because that's what the people of india want they 
trust today that the government led by Prime Minister Modi will always help is in living, is in their day-to-day -day lives, is in their business, encourage entrepreneurship, protect small businesses. And I believe uh, the fact that we are today also celebrating five years of completion of GST, coinciding with the release of the BRAP uh, 2020 award winners through the assessment of states and union territories, also augurs well because GST has been one of those game-changing decisions which has helped ease of doing business in India, recognized both in India and worldwide to be one of the most important changes, one of the most transformative decisions ever taken in uh, India's economic history, bringing on one platform, all the states, all the union territories, and truly implementing GST, one nation, one tax, in the spirit of ease of doing business, is uh, a matter of pride for this government, for Prime Minister Modi, and for all his colleagues. Of course, uh, Mr. Arun Jetli deserves uh, to be remembered for the wonderful work he did in bringing everybody together and the spirit of consensus which he built up, which was also reflected in the last two days in the meetings of the GST Council. Truly a memorable uh, work that Sri Arun Jetli ji has uh, given to this country and will always remain a legacy that he has left behind for all of us. We have also entered the 70th year of uh, Sri Shama Prasad Mukherjee's death anniversary. 23rd June, the day we moved into Vanijya Bhavan, the new commerce and industry office, is, uh, was his death anniversary. And he was India's first industry minister, by the way, and uh, laid the foundation or reflected the vision for a modern, for a progressive, forward-looking industrial ecosystem in the country. And I think uh, it's, it's truly a year, all of us in the industry department, remembering the vision that uh, Sri Shama Prasad Mukherjee ji, the founder of the Bharatiya Jansan, and in a way, the, a leader whom all of us in government, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, Nirmala ji, I, all of us look up to for having truly given the message of unity and integrity of the country. He spoke about one nation having one constitution, having one prime minister, having one set of laws. I think Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the Home Minister Sri Amit Shah ji, all of them have fulfilled his uh, deep desire, his vision, and something for which he sacrificed his life when we were able to abrogate Article 370 and 35A uh, th three years ago. In that spirit of one nation, Nirmala ji has been able to successfully navigate GST as one nation, one tax. Today we have one nation, one identity, Aadhaar. We have one nation, one ration card, where you can use your biometric, which is your ration card, anywhere in the country to get rations. We are looking at uh, several initiatives which have transformed India through bringing together all the states, the central government, and the 135 crore Indians on one platform. And I must congratulate all the states for the outstanding work they've done. The method of ranking, the methodology has been the methodology of assessment has evolved over a period of time. And uh, this being the fifth edition of uh, ranking, I think uh, it has evolved significantly from an original assessment of what actions each state have taken to a mix of the actions and the feedback to now a 100% feedback-based assessment system. We have also been able to improvise the feedback systems in consultation with the states, taking their, feed, taking their inputs, making it more multilingual, involving their officials in the entire process, 
and we also believe that the time was now ripe that instead of just a pure number ranking, we should look at encouraging the states through a more collective framework where we are looking at top achievers, super achievers, the uh, regular achievers, and then of course, the people who need to really push up their ecosystem going forward. But some of the ideas, the bold reforms different states have taken are very, very encouraging. I mean, Goa, for example, decided to have melas for verification under legal metrology so that the concerns that many times small businesses have of uh, not being given a fair chance to, uh, to address any problems that may be there in legal metrology are taken back, taken into account and a more transparent and collective uh, uh, mechanism be created for verification, which is more transparent and people cannot misuse it. Similarly, today Assam has 300 plus services on a single window. The DPIT focuses on 40, 41 services. Assam has taken it to the next level with 300 services. And then of course now the national single window about which we'll have a session in the second half after the inaugural, uh, where the national single window will be uh, discussed in context of the BRAP, and we'll look at faster integration of all the various single windows into one single window. Similarly, Tripura, I'm talking about the small states to reflect on how much even small states are doing. The bigger states are, of course, doing wonderful work. States like Uttar Pradesh have done phenomenal work in the last uh, three or four years. But I think uh, even a state like Tripura has been able to fully institutionalize the central inspection system and has ensured a joint inspection to make sure that uh, inspection is very transparent and very fair. I think uh, the Prime Minister's vision and his commitment towards investments, promoting jobs, job creation, work opportunities, and prosperity for 135 crore Indians encourages us as we work towards a new India, nay soch ke saath, nay Bharat ke prati, jis tarike se desh tej gati se pragati kar rahe, jis gati se Bharat mein badlaav a rahe, jis gati se reform, transform, perform ki bhavna ko leke bharat mein nai cheezo ko aage badhaya diya ja raha hai main samajhta hu world bank ne apni ranking band kar diyo aur usme bhi badi bhari vriddhi hui 142 se 63 79 ranks ki vriddhi sirf 5 varsh 4 saare 4 varsho mein bharat ne ki uske liye usme adhikansh samay mannya vitt mantri वाणिज्य मंत्री भी थी उद्योग मंत्री भी थी मैं समझता हूं वो बड़ा छलांग और आगे सुधरता पर एक पड़ोसी देश ने कुछ गलत काम करने के कारण वो तो डिसकंटिन्यू हो गया पर मुझे खुशी है कि भारत के अंदर हमने इस स्पर्धा को चालू रखा है स्टेट्स की रैंकिंग निरंतर चल रही है और मेरी उम्मीद है कि इसके कारण जो हमारा उद्योग जगत है जो हमारे उद्यमी हैं उनको अवश्य बदलाव महसूस हो रहा होगा उनके व्यापार करने के उनके उद्योग चलाने में सरलता महसूस करते होंगे और आगे भी चल के ये प्रयास पूरे जोश के साथ चलता रहेगा आप सब भी हमें फीडबैक देते रहे मीडिया के भी हमारे बंधु हमें लगातार फीडबैक देते भी रहे हैं आगे भी देते रहेंगे इस आशा के साथ आप सब आज आए उसके लिए आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और हमारे वित्त मंत्री जी ने हम सबको समय दिया और अभी शायद अभी अभी लौटी है इतना पूरा बहुत महत्वपूर्ण बैठकों के बाद और आप आज हमारे कार्यक्रम में आए उसके लिए आपका तय दिल से धन्यवाद इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डू लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब 